All right, let's escape the fire. We gotta get out of here. So if you come up first to this podium and you get that little clue, here is where you're gonna use that. Flip the word through. And that just exposes the door that we're going to escape out of, but we have a lot to do before we get to that. So before you go down into that room, look at these tiles here. They're giving you directions that you're going to use on a combination down there the double arrows mean you're going to go that direction twice so come over here and that's the missing tile that was in that fourth position so all that adds up to double right up left down up that's the missing tile double left and you're in Grab the handle and the hourglass out of there. See on the wall there it said, think twice. And then there gives you a little Latin expression. So you're going to look at the Latin word for think, which is equivalent to two. And then you're going to look at ergo sum, which is five and seven. So think twice okay. 2257 we'll make it so we're looking good when you're done those areas will collapse behind you We found that hourglass, so let's come over here and use it on the door. You're going to want to mimic those hourglasses in the stained glass window. The hourglass in the upper right, you're going to want to just put horizontally so that the sand is equal in both sections. And then when you get the other three into position, you're going to turn that one, which is going to have it match the one in the stained glass window. So let's look up at the stained glass window. And we see the angles and the positions we want to put everything in. We want to keep that one in the upper right horizontal. And the one in the lower right is supposed to be horizontal. So now, when we hit that, it opens the door. Now here, you'll see on all the globes, each globe has a different continent misspelled. They're like Asia is misspelled, but the B translates to A. It translates to the word Asia. That translates to the word Africa and so on and so forth. There, Europe is misspelled. And then on this one, North America is misspelled. But it's an N and America. So you can transpose those numbers from the misspellings to these. And that means that podium of letters over here, when you transpose the letters from the misspellings, it spells out fire. This spells out sun, and that spells out air. Come to the globe in the center, match the colors with the symbols that match the words that you just spelled. Air, and then the yellow is fire, and the orange is sun.
chamber of knowledge? How will anyone know anything? Okay, so we're going to match where the hands on the clock are above the door. We're going to make the hands point those directions here. First, we're going to put the crank on so we can do it. And then the crank all the way on the left just turns the smallest clock alone. The other, the other cranks turn multiple clocks, so just... Get that one hand in position pointing down. The hand should be in a Y shape. Now the other, the medium sized clock is already pointing the right way. Turn that solo crank on the left and you're in. First we're gonna arrange these ladders so that they reach platforms on the upper level. Now the second ladder In case you didn't notice, everything in this room is upside down. The room itself is upside down. That's kind of the gimmick here. Pull this lever. And now head back to the other platform to grab a tile. This room actually has two tiles. The other one is at the front of the room. So we're going to come out here, if I can learn to walk. We're going to come out here, and we're going to look at these display cases. Look at that skull with the horns, right? And remember the number. It's the number six. That human skull is the number nine. That skull with the beak is number eight. Now we're just going to match them to this upside down combination lock, match the skulls with their numbers in the display cases. That horn skull was a six. Then we have human skull, that's a nine. The beak skull was an eight. Then nine again, and we're good to go. Okay, the forge, and then the pride is the lion, above and beyond is the bird, and the scale, of course, is the ways, the options, and we are free, my friends. We survived! Oh, I wish I could say the same for the library. 